Hello, my name is Amani Sawari, and I am coming at you from the metropolitan Detroit area to show you some prison mail. Let's take a moment to look at some artwork. Let's reflect on some artwork. And I'm gonna zoom into the artwork. This was drawn by Donald C. Note Hooker, and he is in San Quentin Prison in California. CDC little r and the r the little r is tiny because of this um cdcr stands for california department of corrections and <laughs> um but a lot of organizers don't even reference that last letter because no sense of that no element of rehabilitation is being seen in the cal in the overcrowded uh california department of corrections. And so as you guys can see, this is an illustration of something that happens often in the prison. It usually happens at least three, four times a day. Sometimes it happens on the hour. It really depends on what facility you're in, what state you're in, what jurisdiction your facility is being maintained under, whether it's county, state, federal. But what this is called is count time. And count time is a period of a time where staff go around the entire facility and they literally do a head count. They do a head count multiple times a day in order to report back to higher corrections officials that yes, the amount of people that we had in the facility at the beginning of the day is the same amount of people that we have at noontime and the same amount of people that we have at the end of the day because they do not want to be responsible for not having the number of heads that they had uh, yesterday unless there was a, a scheduled release. And so that's what count time is. Count time is like attendance, but attendance only happens at the beginning of class. Count time is ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. It happens throughout the day. It literally is the revolving clock of, you know, what's going on for the day. Um, no one can be on the phone at count time. No one can be out of place. If you're in the library, it is because you were sent to the library or you requested to go there and your request was approved and you're studying or whatever the case may be. But at count time, everyone has to be either in their cell or wherever they are assigned to be, library, kitchen duty, laundry duty, yard maintenance, whatever that is. And if you're not there, you could get a ticket. Because if your head count, if the head count isn't accurate and your head ain't count to where it's supposed to be at, then technically you're absconding, okay? So count time is really serious and it's really huge. And I love this illustration. When I saw it, it hit me, it hit me because Count time, as I know it, as an advocate for incarcerated people's human rights is really just like a, a paper pushing activity. It's just a task. It's something that we do. We're going through the motions. And what the other guard is saying, and I didn't even notice this when I was first looking at it, but they're in a boat. They're in a boat. You guys see that? I thought that they were standing on their feet on the, on the outside of the cell but they're actually in a boat and they float up to, we'll say this is C-Note's cell, C-Note and his bunkie cell. And one guy is ooh, gasping, ooh, trying to get up. And the other guy's kind of just looking like, bro, you still gasping, bro. You, you don't know. You just got to stand on the first, first bunk and you'll be good <laughs> or whatever the case may be. But he's looking at the other guy. The guards are yelling count time and the guard behind him is saying, stick your head out the water which is, it's filled with so much uh, metaphorical chaos, you guys. The fact that the water is on both sides of the cell. We see the contrast in the fact that the guards are equipped with, you know, this, this itty bitty canoe. It's not like a yacht. It ain't no real boat. It looked like they could have made that themselves, you know, the guards. And one thing that this highlights is the fact that the guards are also in the midst of this chaos. They are also forced to dwell within this volatile, unstable, dilapidated environment and try to, to work and do their jobs which I guess is corrections, I guess, since they call correctional officers, but actually they're not doing that. They're just going through the motions. They're trying to survive 
while also trying to prove that they are helping others survive in some type of way. And so this guard says, stick your head out of the water. They've got their megaphones. They're yelling. They're making sure that everyone knows it's count time. Stick your head up out the water. Whether you're getting beat up, whether you're eating, whether you're studying. And in the midst of all this, of course, it's loud. It's lots of stuff going on. People are, who knows, gambling in the day room. Like all this stuff is happening. And while all this stuff is happening, there are select few people who are actually trying to engage in some sense of correction, which is hard. It's, <gasps> I'm trying, <gasps> but I can't. I'm trying, I'm trying. <gasps> He's trying. And there are other people who are like, mm, I'm just here. I'm just here going through the motions with the guards. And so this piece, I love it. You guys can see in the background, there's some other folks in their cells trying to stick their heads up out of the water that are engaged in other activities. And during count time, you're literally, what's the cliche? Just a number. No one's asking you how your day went. No one's asking you, how's your mental? No one's asking you if you got enough to eat. There's no actual, and like with attendance too, just making sure that everyone's in the room so that you can engage in education. There's this idea of the teacher wants to make sure that I'm here so that I can get fed with this, with this knowledge. And if I'm not here so that she can take a mental note and say, okay, I'm gonna have to find another time to get them this knowledge. Count time is different. We just wanna make sure you're here because you have to be. We're not giving you anything. We're not checking on you for anything. We're not trying to aid you in any way. We're not trying to provide you with any resources. Not even hand sanitizer or a toothbrush, okay? We are not giving you anything. And in the midst of all that, you better... <gasps> yeah. And so this just talks about what the piece was inspired by. If you guys want to read the other side, then just check the link in the description box.